Hey y'all, welcome back. I haven't done an EMDR update in a little while, um, so I'm just gonna clump together the past few that I've gone to and insert those clips right here. All right, I am at the office where my therapist works to do hopefully my eighth EMDR session. Um, last week I told y'all that we didn't end up doing the eighth session because I just needed, I needed to talk about some stuff that was going on. So yeah, so today hopefully we're getting back on track with the M EMDR stuff. I, I did want to say something really quick to anybody that is going through CPTSD or PTSD. I have recently joined a Facebook group that has been really helpful. It's just nice to be a part of a group that everyone kind of understands what you're going through and everyone gives tips and advice and uplifts everyone and it's a positive place to kind of just like, you don't necessarily have to share but you can just read and just like it kind of makes you feel better or whatever and sometimes I'll comment and you know give some positive feedback to people or just say, you know, we're all in this together. So anyways, if y'all are interested in being part of that specifically, then please just let me know down in the comments and maybe we can kind of get linked up on social media to where then I can invite you into the group. But anyways, yeah, so I'm about to go in and yeah, I'll fill y'all in whenever I get out. Alright, I just got out of the 8th session. That one was good. I definitely was way more in my head than I would have liked to be. Like, she even said, you know, hey, you should stop thinking so much. Like, let your brain do and go where it needs to go in order to, you know, get to the bottom of this feeling or this memory or whatever. And I think that I was just, yeah, I was just thinking too much. Like, I kept, whenever I would, like, follow, all I would think was why, like, why did this happen? Or when did this start happening? Or why, 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 why? And so she just said that um, in order for this to really work, I need to just relax, let my brain go where it goes, and that's significant. So, yeah, I think I just kind of went into it way more, like, I thought that I was going to be finished with this one, with this incident, and I kind of was just pushing it too much. So, hopefully next week I will go in with more of an open mind and not so, like, why, 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 and all this stuff, because... Ultimately, my brain will answer that I don't need to, like, force it. I, I just need to, like, let it flow and let it happen. You can't rush it. That's the point of what I'm trying to say right now is, like, you cannot rush it. And I think today I was trying to make things happen, like, make it happen in my head. And I just wasn't, yeah, I wasn't having patience or an open mind today but I'll be ready to do it next week and hopefully we can tackle this one once and for all. All right I only have one minute before I have to go into my ninth session. I'm really really optimistic and I'm hoping that we finish the second um the second incident so I'm just gonna let it happen as it does and hoping that it happens that way but uh yeah so I'll catch up with y'all after I get back out so the disturbance level has gone from a 10 and today it's a 3 which I'm really excited about she likes it to be a 0 obviously and so next week we're gonna see how I feel about it when we first start and see like where the disturbance is and try to finish off with that experience. Today was really cool. Um, it brought a lot of insight into stuff that you know happened when I was younger and like my brain kept reminding me of certain things and it kind of made sense with the experience. But yeah I'm so excited. I 
I felt really good going in today and I didn't feel like so I didn't have as much anxiety around this experience anymore which is a really awesome feeling and it's going to be even more awesome once I work through it completely the desensitization process is like really really hardcore especially when you first start working through the experience but at the end it's insane how much better you feel like seriously I don't I mean it's like and she said it best she said that, it, that it's never gonna make the like what the situation okay like that it's not okay that that happened but you can like you come to terms with it and you're not like there's not anger there's not you know frustration surrounding it anymore because you like processed it in a healthy way whenever you work through something in a healthy way then your brain's not going to be like storing that at the back of your mind and then like make you have anxiety in certain situations that you wouldn't if you would have worked through it I don't know I, I, I suck at explaining this especially after I get out of these sessions because I'm just like my brain worked really hard but yeah so I really enjoyed that one today I felt like we made a big breakthrough the last couple of times sometimes it's hard to stay positive especially whenever you're just beginning to work through something it's so hard to stay positive because you just want it to happen right then and there you want to get it get it over with but that's not how it works your brain you know it you have to like take the time and let your brain reprocess it and so it's a very slow and um yeah it's just a slow process so you have to be patient if any of y'all are going through this right now i i don't know you're amazing and it's hard work it really is but don't give up like seriously don't give up because I've seen such big progress leaps and bounds so anyways um yeah thank y'all so much for watching if you have any questions or comments or just want to leave some positive vibes please go do so in the comment section and like this video if you still like seeing these and subscribe if you aren't already and yeah I'll see you next time um I go in for the next two sessions. Bye. <laughs>